What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today and I hope it gets even better from watching this video. Today we're chatting all about how to transform your day with having a really really good morning routine. You guys know I love a morning routine like if I could stick to one routine one healthy routine that makes the biggest difference for me it would be my morning routine like it's honestly changed my life that sounds very dramatic but it honestly did like it's so powerful to wake up to do things for yourself and just start your day off on the right foot so even if i've had like a hard day i know that i've already done so many things for myself and i also handle whatever life throws at me a lot smoother because i have like a good foundation if that makes sense so as i've already said we're gonna cover everything in this video so from getting really good sleep so you can wake up fresh and ready to tackle the day to some getting up like waking up tips because sometimes it can be hard and you're snoozing and you're like it's a mess and then my favorite and i think the most helpful part the three-step system that i made so that you can create a morning routine that actually helps you with whatever you're needing or missing in your life. So yeah, we've got a lot to cover, but before we get started, if you're new here, hi, I'm Nika, welcome. I make videos all about self-improvement and I like to make them very strategic, organized, to-do list form so that you can actually make like a tangible difference. So if that works for you, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out my social media if you wanna see more of my personal life. And without further ado, Let's get into it. Alrighty, let's start off with quickly chatting about sleep. Obviously, there's so much to say about this. I could make a whole video about it. There's so many tips and tricks to improve your sleep schedule, to be able to fall asleep quicker, wake up feeling fresh and ready for the day. So I'm just gonna give you a few tips that really helped me because I used to have really bad insomnia. My sleep schedule, there was none, <laughs> it didn't exist. So I actually, like have some tangible tips that helped me. First tip is to have a very, very, very simple little routine that you do right before you go to sleep that signals to your mind it's time to go to bed. So obviously this should be something that's very relaxing to you and also something that's very simple because in the evening you're tired, like you don't need to do this whole extravagant routine. So an example, I take a hot shower, I put on some lavender scented oil that relaxes me and I drink my chamomile tea. And that's it, very simple. It's honestly made such a big difference for me and it's so easy. The second tip we've all heard a billion times, but it's so important is to not use your screens before you go to sleep. They recommend an hour. If you can start with 20 minutes, that's amazing. And then before that, you can wear some blue light glasses and that already makes a big difference. I've been on this whole journey with screens and social media recently. I did a whole video about the detox that I did. Um, so I'll link that down below, but this has been so helpful and amazing like i can't even explain to you how good it feels to go to bed with a clear mind feeling relaxed not having so many things disturbing your mindset and your energy it really like improves your state of mind when you wake up at least that's what i've noticed so again even if you can start with 20 minutes that's still something and then you can build it up if you want to the third one is to take a magnesium supplement before you go to sleep again so 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 simple but it honestly makes such a huge difference just make sure it's the right type of magnesium so it doesn't have the opposite effect but amazing seriously it really really works the last tip i want to mention when it comes to sleep is something that you should only use if your sleep schedule is honestly like messed up beyond belief and you like just can't get it right and you're just really struggling so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull an all-nighter and then you're gonna go to sleep the next day at a like at your perfect ideal time that kind of like resets your sleep schedule but again you should only do that if your sleep schedule is really really messed up before we go into all the other tips i really wanted to talk about skillshare because first of all they're sponsoring this video but also i recently watched such a good skillshare class that actually inspired me to make this video it's called 21 days of purposeful productivity forming habits for long-term goals it's by mike d who's a productivity coach it was so 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 good so if you want to make learning a part of your morning routine daily routine or you just want to learn some new skills get some good habits going then skillshare is amazing it's the largest online learning community for creatives they have thousands of classes led by industry pros across film illustration design freelance productivity and more with skillshare you can invest in yourself pick up new hobbies you've always wanted to try or learn a new skill i've taken so many skillshare classes to help with my career so i've learned about like filming design notion but my favorite classes are always the ones about productivity time management and organization so another class in that genre that i recently watched and really really loved 
is by Thomas Frank. It's called Productivity for Creatives, Build a System that Brings Out Your Best. So I highly recommend trying that out. And if you're one of the first 500 people to click on my link down below, you will actually get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can try out all the classes I mentioned or any other ones across different industries that you're interested in. So again, I'll have the link to that in the description box. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring. Alrighty, let's move on to the morning time and talk about all the little tips and tricks and little hacks I have when it comes to waking up and getting up. The first tip is to please, for the love of God, remove that iPhone alarm sound, like the original one. It honestly is like trauma inducing. <laughs> it is so stressful to wake up that way. So if you still have it, please replace it to something that's gonna wake you up, but it's like relaxing for you. My favorite is like a mix of birds chirping and relaxing music. That's always my go-to. So you can try that out, but just remove like anything that's so stressful, <laughs> like please. The next one, snooze no longer exists. Like whatever you need to do to stop snoozing, do that. If that means putting your alarm further away from you, so you need to physically get up to shut it off, then do that. But if you fall back asleep, wake up again, fall back asleep, wake up again, it actually makes you way more tired. So it does nothing good for you. So if you can like shut off that option on your phone or alarm clock, then amazing. Otherwise, it just no longer exists, okay? It's not an option. Another thing that's no longer an option is going on your phone first thing in the morning. I used to do this because first of all, it was my alarm clock, so it was right there, it was so accessible and easy. And also the light from my phone would wake me up. So instead of going on your phone, obviously you can have a physical alarm clock that really, really helps leave your phone in a different room. And then you need to expose yourself to bright light. So if it's already light outside when you wake up, then open up all the blinds. If it's not, then just turn on all the lights in your apartment. It feels like an attack. I know, <laughs> like I hate the overhead lights, but it really, really works in waking you up and it's so much better than going on your phone and getting bombarded with so much information first thing in the morning like that really makes me feel so like sluggish and like my brain feels like I've got brain fog like it's just not a good way to wake up at all I like to stay off my phone for the whole like duration of my morning routine but even if you can just do 20 minutes an hour whatever amazing the next tip again is so incredibly basic and it's something i never used to do like intentionally but i do it at least twice a day now it helps me so much it's to air out my home so i just open up all the windows first thing in the morning and it makes me feel so fresh like you know how like a cold shower makes your body feel like fresh and alive that's how airing out my home feels like to my brain like it just feels like my brain has been aired out and we're fresh and ready to go i also do this whenever i have a work break especially if i'm feeling like very sluggish and i have some brain fog like it honestly helps so much so make sure you air out your home in the morning and makes such a big difference they say you should do it from 5 to 15 minutes so it obviously depends on the weather outside but i highly highly recommend especially if you're like very sluggish and tired in the morning it makes all the difference so yeah those are all the really like simple self-explanatory tips and tricks when it comes to waking up and getting up now let's get into like the juicy part of this video the three-step little habit stacking routine system that i came up with that really really helps me to make my current routine morning routine be something that's really really working for me so you're gonna have three non-negotiable things that you're gonna do every single morning so no matter what happens to you in a day no matter what's going on in your life at the moment you know that you still do these things for yourself you still show up for yourself and that builds so much trust in yourself that builds confidence like it makes you deal with things in your life so much better because you've got such a good foundation. Like it really, really makes such a huge difference. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna think of three things you wanna feel in your morning or throughout your day. And then you're gonna choose one action or habit that's gonna make you feel that particular emotion. So let's say you wanna feel positive, healthy, and inspired slash motivated. So let's say you make yourself a green smoothie in the morning that makes you feel healthy. Then you go out on your balcony, write your gratitude journal that makes you feel positive. And then you listen to like an inspirational podcast that you love as you do your makeup. So every single day, no matter what, you do those three things that inspire those three feelings that you need or want in your life and you show up for yourself continuously. So obviously you can use this basic one, feeling positive, healthy, and inspired, um, but it's gonna be more powerful if you make it your own and if you choose the feelings that you wanna feel based on what's going on in your life. So let's say that you've been super stressed at work, so 
one emotion that you want to feel is relaxed or calm or peaceful. So then you choose something that's going to make you feel that way. Or if you're going through a breakup or like a friend breakup, then maybe you want to feel supported and loved because that's something that you're missing in your life. So it's so important for you to give those feelings to yourself first thing in the morning. So obviously those three actions are going to look different for every single person and depending on what's going on in your life. Um, so it's honestly like made my morning routine so much more special to me and more like intentional and I know why I'm doing it. I know that, you know, I wake up, let's say I've been really stressed and I have those habits to support myself and it's really like self-loving and amazing. So I highly recommend trying that out figure out which three like feelings you want to inspire and then which actions make you feel that way and try to make them as simple as possible so you're not like overcomplicating this. A lot of people don't have a lot of time in the morning, so make it super easy, okay? The last thing I wanted to talk about is the importance of having a really good organization planning system that works for you. So you can track all of these habits, you can keep tabs on your goals so that you always know what you're working towards and why you're doing the things that you're doing. And then obviously being able to plan your to-dos, your days in a way that works for you. I made a whole Notion template that really, really helps me. I also made a whole video where I go through the whole thing so you can see if it's something that you might like or you might wanna try, but just make sure you pick something that works for you. I personally like to plan my days the night before and then in the morning I feel relaxed. I already know what my day is gonna look like and I don't really need to think about it, but you really need to find a system that works for you. Again, it's so important. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you were able to get some like new tips and tricks and things you wanted to try. I know a lot of these tips are very self-explanatory and basic and everyone says them, but everyone says them for a reason. Like they're really, really good. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out my social media if you wanna see more of my personal life. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.